Okay, so this is kind of, we're getting into stage three or in stage three. And if you look at the um, value structure that's starting to happen with this apple here, you can see that it's getting a little darker here, a little darker here, a little darker here, a little darker here, or a little, I'm leaving some of the light values here. So when I built the base up, I'm, I just kind of like left them and I just made the areas around it darker. And if you look at the apple, there's a little reflected light from the um, paper onto the apple here. So that's kind of what's happening here. Um, there's a light source is coming down. So there's kind of like a highlight here. There's a highlight there. There's a little tiny highlights there. And the light source also kind of creates a highlight here. I'm slowly developing that. You do not want to go in and start to make this little highlight because that's the very, very end result. It's just you're slowly kind of establishing the darker values. And you can see that it's gradually shifting from one value to another. And you can see that I just kind of slowly build and build and build. So I'm kind of happy with this at the moment. I'm gonna go back to it and tighten it up a bit. Um, right now I'm gonna work on this apple here. Um, you can also tell that I started to uh, um, elaborate on the shadows on the this guy here and then I'm going to probably hit the shadows here and towards the very end I'm going to hit a value here and hit a value here so stage three is basically applying the value structure further applying the value structure to the forms and um, overall completion so that's what I'm going to focus on now and I'm going to make a time-lapse video of filling this in and possibly some other parts. Okay. All right, so in that little area there, um, that video you just watched, the time-lapse one, I was focusing on this apple. I'm starting to focus on the um, composition of the skin, meaning that um, there's value structure on it, but not value structure from light, uh, from a light source hitting it, other than the cast shadow that it creates. It's a little darker on the right side, but you can't even see it. And um, But there's a bright red which is a darker value on the left side of the apple there's this kind of shape here in the middle this teardrop shape and upside down teardrop shape and um and then there's a few little like speckles of red and speckles of light green throughout that's what i'm going to start thinking about next but before i got to that point i really had to think about the the value tone of that area is it generally there and then after that point then i can start to think about those those high resolution details those, those small little shapes and they're actually really easy to put on you just you find a pencil that shows up um i'm just going to use the b at the moment right now to see what happens and there's a couple little i put one up here but there's a couple little striations or speckles um, here and they're very subtle they're so subtle it's not the first thing that you see so that's why it's important to get the overall value structure correct and I'm just kind of um, putting them in uh, I'm really looking at what I'm doing so I just don't start randomly throwing them in but yeah it's good enough it's kind of like a subtle pattern to it and it, that shouldn't take very long it's just kind of um, find where the, a few are. A way to do it is to get like a couple landmarks. I mean, like, all right, there's a big spot right there, right? Where is that? And it's like, it's about right here. I'm just going to put that baby in now. There's a spot to the left of it, left and down. I'm going to put that one in there now. So it's so subtle, you can see it, but it's so subtle. Um, usually when people start to draw, 
as new students start to draw, they'll see those things first before they even put any of the value structure down. You have to have the value structure down and then you can start to put on this textural component, if you want to call it that. It's not really texture. It's more of a color discoloration on the apple resulting in dark values and light values speckled throughout. Um, and so I'll do one round now. I'll probably come back and do another round and just kind of like bring it in. I think I might make this area just a little darker first before I put my speckles in. The nice thing about it though, when you do put another layer on, just a really light layer of a value, um, the speckles should just stay there and get a little darker. So, so that's nice. And again, don't use a really dark pencil, just something that just shows up. So I'm kind of filling this in with a little bit of a darker tone, just a hair. And then now I can start to put in some striations. There's kind of this long, it looks like a line, but it's, it's just a little bit of a fat line. You can see I'm putting it in almost follows its way all the way down to the bottom. And I'm just doing the little tiny like bo -bo -bo -bo, uh, marks, real subtle. And it feels like I'm not doing much, but um, when I walk away from it, you can see that line now, but it should be subtle. It should be really subtle. It shouldn't be um, prominent. I'm just going to put some other stuff around it. I think the apple gets a little darker here than the shadow, so I'm just going to... Um, and after that, I'm, I'll just dance around. I'm going to walk, I'm going to go over here. This gets kind of dark. There's some speckles there. So maybe I'll just try to find a couple major players and put them in. Um, And the reason I stopped at the value in terms of the value that I have it now, you can kind of see the negative space that I'm, I'm creating by filling in these little kind of speckles here um, is the value of that I have down, uh, the ground value. So that's, that's kind of nice because I killed two birds with one stone here. I don't have to go in with an eraser. Um, this little shape here, I don't know if you saw in the video I just made, but I... I made it too small, so I had to extend it out because I keep forgetting that this is the edge of the apple here. And I think that shape was more on the right side, so I had to make a subtle adjustment. So I used the eraser. You can use the eraser here, here, and there for reasons like that. I can also use the eraser at the very end to put some of these speckles in if I have to, um, if I need to throw some light ones in. But... Um, uh, And I'm not blending or anything. I'm blending with the pencil. I'm just kind of layering. And that's how I get my value structure. And that's just little by little. This can kind of, after a while, you're like, oh my God, I'm just here forever putting these little speckles in. But just put a few in, come back to it, put a few more in, come back to it. There's a little kind of moment right here. As you see, I'm... I, I threw some of this in. There's almost like, a, it looks like a paint splatter on top of the apple there. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but um, uh, but there's a paint splatter here. So it was really easy to say, all right, that's dark, that's light. Not light, but light, lighter. And it's actually a little bit darker, the light part than what I have it. Um, so I'm just going to fill this in just a little bit with a, a B. And... Um, and again, there's not a magic point like, oh, I use a B for this, I use a uh, B2 for this. I, you know, It's just what shows up. It, what shows up on the drawing, if it doesn't show up, then it's not gonna do anything. If it's too dark, then it's too soft. If it's just right the next step up, then you found the exact pencil that you need to use. 
and eventually I'll put these stems in, but you can kind of see some of the little uh, details that are starting to form, those little tiny speckles. And that's what really brings us into this high resolution um, towards the end of the drawing. And then at the very, um, let me make this a little bigger. Uh, and then at the very end, um, I'll play around with these shadows. I think I'm, I'll do that. And then um, I can't stress enough because my hand's starting to smear. Since I'm going to section this off. This serves another purpose too. You can just really focus on one area and be like, oh, okay, there's a little dark spot right there. Another thing too is like you can go back on with a harder pencil. Don't feel like, oh, I've already hit that with a 2H. I can't go back. Sure you can. You can go back on. A 2H can just make something slightly darker. And if you're just trying to make a subtle adjustments, then it's expected to do something like that. I'm just like kind of tickling the paper a little bit with the graphite at, on this part of the process. Here's a little um, dark spot. And if you put a spot that's, if your apples have spots and if there's a little spot you put on there, it's the wrong spot. It's not a big deal. It's not like we're drawing a self-portrait and you put the eye in the wrong place. Uh, no one's going to know. But as long as it's as true, as true as you can get it, and you're good to go. And I'm going to have one more video just about, um, hold on a second, about, about uh, finalizing the drawing. Um, getting yourself pencils, um, confirming or committing to an edge and just darkening up, using the line a little bit in your benefit, uh, even though there is no line in reality. Um, stuff like that. Okay, I'll stop the video in a second.